much. Nice to meet you. Hey, how you doing today? Uh, Terrell here. Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> Amazing posters. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Terrell here, Big Gold Belt Media. Uh, again, how are you doing today? Um, jump right. right into the first question. Um, Paul, Elaine, uh, thank you uh, for this excellent show. Uh, kept me on the edge of my seat. Uh, <laughs> uh, my question is, with this show, it's super intense. Um, and, and I mean, like, to the point where you can't sit down comfortably, you can't finish your popcorn. Uh, what? How, how, when you were writing this and, you, you know, putting this together, what was the level of intensity that you wanted to keep this at without pe making people uncomfortable watching the show? Ooh, that's a great question. Do you know, I, 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 I love that you've responded in that way. You know, I, I, for me, it's sort of, I, I love to reach for a kind of intensity that is sort of, uh, where the storytelling in some ways can be quite slow and the scenes yeah. go at their own quite measured pace. But I suppose what, what you kind of dream of is that each episode or certainly the show kind of gathers in intensity as it goes along. You know, it's like a that's kind of snowball uh, effect. But um, I mean, for me, one of the one of the kind of uh, the, the real sparks of, behind doing it was that sense of the pendulum swing of the characters. Mm -hmm. Of, of just the of the kind of the eye of Sauron, as it were, like moving between <laughs> and tune, you know, we're just swinging back and forth, right. Hecate to tune to Hecate. And I think maybe there's that sense that you just it's like a it's like a stopwatch that's getting louder as it's going along. I think that's what that's what we were sort of going for, you know. I, um, I mean, I like the I mean, for me, I like the storytelling to be really intelligent. I, when I'm watching crime drama, I, you know, it really frustrates me. Right. First of all, if there are lots of plot holes, I, I actually can't bear it. <laughs> but I also don't like when, and, and you see this quite often too, uh, you know, people just throw in another dead body, um, you know, because they can't think of, of, a, of a cleverer way to sort of get that twist or turn in. And so, so for me, I think it was really, really important that we kept the storytelling really smart all the way through. And obviously you need a really smart writer in order to do that. And fortunately, I had one, so. <laughs> well, Paul and Elaine, I really appreciate you for, for doing this interview with me today. I appreciate the answer that question that's been on my mind all day. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I hope we can do this again. Yeah, me that. too. It was lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. You too. Thank you. Thank you.